All right, next up, Bob Back. So um, this is called the Drowst Effect. And uh, let me see if I can find it online. So this is what we're working on with uh, Imaginary Foundation. And it's not intended to be a meteor app, but we work in different locations. And uh, just there's problems to work out in the animation. So um, I've been coming to the meteor sessions and I've been curious about it and learning it. So I thought, oh, I know. I thought it'd be good if I could control from my end, you know, different parts of the animation and then show him, you know, uh, the problems that I see. So this here, see, I can control it here. Oh, yeah. You know, basically, that's really it. <laughs> it was just, I just wanted a, yeah, I needed a way to be able to control remotely. Um, you know, so there, there's a problem. Let's see if I can find where there is. Uh, like right here, if you guys notice on the upper left corner, it doesn't, there's like an alignment error. Anyway, <laughs> so we, you know, I use this to, that's it, really, there's nothing else. <laughs> So, questions. Any questions? Oh, yeah. Um, why? That's a long story. So, um, how it's, uh, they're, they're, they're different slides, and, and every slide is 50% uh, of the other slide. And so what you do is you have them, you have, when one slide is at 100%, the next slide is 50% embedded in the first slide. And then by the time that reaches 100%, there's another one inside of that, and on and on and on. And then you work it out so the image is sort of go, to, you know, circular. That's it. All right. Thank you. Sure.